guys welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna be filming a cooking video for you guys today and the first thing I want to tell you guys is if you make this make sure you give yourself enough time for it to be done in time for dinner because I did not um, I just looked at the instructions because this is a Pinterest um, meal idea and it says I have to bake this for an hour and a half and it is now dinner time so I thought this was something that wasn't gonna to have to bake that long but I'm assuming probably because there's potatoes involved, it's probably why. So um, yeah, today I'm going to be making a hamburger casserole for you guys. I've never made this before, so this is a new recipe for us as well. But I think these are fun to do, um, to try out with you guys, like a new recipe, and then see if it's any good or not. So uh, let me know if you guys like these surprise meal ideas where we have never tried them either. Let me know down below. <laughs> Yeah, and also don't be a ditch me because I'm looking real bad. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with the ingredients that you are going to need to make this and get busy. They're kind of basic things that you probably already have on hand. At least um, I had everything except for the soup mix um, and I had everything else. So, also, the one thing that I don't have set out right now is the milk which we're gonna use that after I fry this first, but you're gonna need two pounds of ground beef. Get your casserole dish. You're going to need um, one and a half cups of cheese, and it all depends on what kind of cheese you wanna use, whatever you like, but this is what I have. I just have mozzarella and sharp cheddar. You're gonna need that half, one and a half cups, I believe. Um, if I don't give you guys the exact measurements in this video. I think it's one and a half cups of cheese, two pounds of ground beef, two cans of cream mushroom soup, and five small potatoes, and one and a half cups of milk, and salt and pepper. That is it. That's really simple. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is um, brown our ground beef in a skillet. So I'm going to do that first. you're going to do is you're going to pour your cream of mushroom soup into a just a large mixing bowl and just kind of stir that up a little bit and you're going to go in with your one and a half cups of milk and then you're just going to give that a nice stir and you will find that it's a little runny but that's like how it's supposed to be so don't worry about that Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be peeling my potatoes and a quick hack for you guys is to get like a Walmart grocery bag and put in your sink. I actually got this from Jessica from Keep Calm and Clean and I thought it was a really great idea so um, you guys should try it. It really makes peeling your potatoes a lot less um, hectic because they're all going right into a trash bag and then you can just throw them away. So definitely give it a try if you have not.
Now I'm just going to be dicing up my potatoes. You can dice your potatoes however you would like them. I just like to cut mine in half and then just like to cube them. That's how I like to do mine. And then I'm just going to be um, evenly layering the pan. You're also going to spray it with whatever kind of oil you want to use. I'm using olive oil. So I'm just la layering my potatoes first. We're kind of doing like a, kind of like if you would do like lasagna. Um, at least that's what it said in the directions was to just kind of layer this so you can do it however you want but I was doing potatoes first do a layer of hamburger And then I'm doing a layer of our soup mixture and milk. And then you're gonna top it off with some cheese. And then the very last thing you are going to do is you are going to repeat this process. So you're going to start layering again and just do it one more time. So um, that's it. It's really simple to do. Um, the longest thing was to cook it, obviously. It took an hour and a half, so it took a while. So definitely do the prepping in advance. It takes about 20 minutes or so to just do the prepping. So. it guys um you're just gonna bake it at 350 for one and a half hours and i tell you guys in a little bit but i forgot to put foil over it so i had to get it back out of the oven and you put foil over it for an hour and then you take the foil off um for the last half hour and let it cook without foil but yeah that is pretty much it Okay, so it just got done. So it does take a while to cook this. It takes about an hour and a half. And I forgot to tell you guys, but you're actually, when you put it in the oven, put it in there with foil over it first for an hour, and then the last half hour, take the foil off. I forgot to um, tell you guys that. But um, I just pulled it out. We're having a late dinner tonight because like I said, I didn't know that it took that long to cook it and to prep everything took at least 25 to 30 minutes probably to prep everything depends on like how quick you work with it um like i don't know i wasn't like hurrying my fastest like i should have probably but um we're eating dinner at seven o'clock tonight so that's super late for us we always eat around five or 5 30 ish um We've ate earlier, but normally it's around five every day. So we're starving. Um, I don't know if I should let it cool off a little bit before digging in or just go ahead and get us a plate and let it cool. Maybe that's what I'll do, but um, it looks really interesting. So I hope it's good. So it doesn't look the most appealing. It just kind of looks like um, some kind of soup, but it is a casserole. So casseroles normally look like this, I feel like. But um, yeah, this is probably gonna blow my stomach up <laughs> since I've been having issues, but oh well, I'm going to devour it. I'm starving and it is what it is. Look at it, right now. <sighs> so of course we gotta do the on-camera taste test to see if it's any good or not. You guys don't want to be wasting your time with something that takes a long time to cook if it ain't no good, you know what I mean? <laughs> smells really good, so.
it's good yeah <laughs> it's very rich with the soup mixture really ties it in almost kind of like a um with the hamburger it's kind of like a hamburger helper but the soup mixture i feel like makes it really good and the potatoes give it a nice touch it's good so yeah if you guys like this combination of potatoes beef i feel like my husband will really enjoy this i don't think he's been into his yet because he don't like hot food right away but um and cheese then this is the meal for you it did tie in really good the flavor is good if you want to give it a little extra salt and pepper um it's good it's really really good and like i said you can use whatever cheese that you want to use you don't have to use what i used whatever kind of cheese you like super carby probably going to be really filling and it's probably going to make my stomach hurt to be honest but oh well it was worth it it's so good <laughs> Thank you guys for watching tonight's cooking episode of what we're having for dinner. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let me know if you guys like these types of videos. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see some new cooking videos. So hopefully you did enjoy a new cooking video. And um, stay tuned because there is a new cleaning video or vice versa. I don't know which one you'll see first. You'll probably see this one first. So stay tuned because I did film a new cleaning video. So ha ha. I'm on a roll. <laughs> So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.